I thank God for this opportunity because God is giving us amazing opportunities in this month. We've been talking about destiny opportunity and today I want to share concerning activating our faith. In John chapter 5, Jesus had a walk to a pool, which is called the Pool of Bethesda, where he found very many people who were unwell, and they waited for the waters to be stirred up. But Jesus had come there to meet one person. This person had been there for a long time, and he had been discouraged because every time he tried to go into the waters, somebody else went ahead of him. So Jesus came to him, and he said to this man very directly, do you want to be well? And in John chapter 5 verse 8, this man had an interesting um, answer. And he said, every time I try to get into the water, somebody else goes ahead of me. And maybe you are at home and wherever you are and you're wondering, hey, everybody else jumps to opportunities and I never get them. Jesus gave an instruction and he said, stand up, pick up your bed and walk. And this man instantly began to walk. This was a miracle because this man had not walked for a long, long time. But his faith was activated and Jesus made that happen to him and he caught the instruction, he jumped up and he walked. Three things that I want to pick up from this interesting passage about activating your faith. Number one is stand up. Number two is pick up and number three is walk. This man needed to change his mind. He needed to tell himself that I can actually stand up. Romans chapter 12 verse 2 says, Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that you may know what the will of God is, what is good and acceptable and perfect. For a long time, this man in his mind realized that he had lost hope. Nothing was ever going to change. But when he heard Jesus saying, stand up, he engaged his mind. He changed his mindset. He decided and made a choice that he was going to stand. And guess what? He stood up. I believe that there is no door that is closed for you. If you believe it is closed, it is closed. But the day you believe it is open, the day you change your mind from that challenge and begin to believe the word of God, amazing things will begin to happen. Jesus told that man, stand up. He changed his mind and he stood up. But secondly, Jesus said, pick up your bed. Pick up. This time Jesus was talking about being decisive. He needed the man to make a decision. Joshua chapter 1 verse 9, God is talking to Joshua. And he has given Joshua an, a, big, a big assignment. And Joshua is wondering, will I ever make it? In Joshua chapter 1 verse 9, the Lord encourage, encourages him and says, Have I not commanded you, Joshua? Be strong and courageous, for I am with you wherever you go. In other words, he was telling Joshua, be decisive. I am here with you. I will make things happen, but I want you to be decisive. I want you to be strong and courageous because I'm with you wherever you go. So not only should you stand up, change your mind. Secondly, you need to be decisive. You need to pick up. What is this thing that you have ability to do? Because picking up means that you have ability. Go out, pick it up. Pick this bed you have been sitting on. Rise up from this situation. Be strong and courageous. Be decisive. God is with you. Things will turn around. That is how you activate your faith. Stand up, pick up. But thirdly, Jesus told that man, walk. In other words, take action. The story of Esther is a very interesting story in the Bible. And Esther was supposed to go into the king's presence, but Esther was scared. He didn't know what to do. Mordecai said, hey, you have to go because this is your chance. Esther chapter 5 verse 1 says that Esther prepared herself put a robe around her and stood at the entrance of the king. In other words, Esther took action. And when she did that, the king who had refused to see anybody for nearly a month 
saw her standing there and said, Esther, come in. You see, if Esther had not put on her robes and stood at the entrance, the king would not have seen her. She took action. How do you activate your faith? Stand up. Change your mind. Secondly, pick up. Be decisive. And thirdly, walk. Take action. Your faith will be activated and miracles will follow. So this month of destiny opportunities, God is waiting for you. You may have been sitting there for a long time, but today you're going to rise up, pick up your bed and walk. And may the opportunities open up for you in amazing ways. You're going to have a testimony. May the Lord bless you. Amen.